Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So Batao is an original Netflix series out of India that's about zombies. Now whenever I first heard of this, I'm thinking like, oh no, not another zombie series. However, Batao takes a unique approach to this whole zombie genre. And so the general story is there is this group of villagers who are protecting this tunnel that is haunted. And so they don't want people to actually open this tunnel because of all the bad things that could happen. However, there is this construction development company that needs to have this tunnel available so that they can develop the land and have their business going. And so because of that, they send in this elite group of soldiers, mercenaries, they're called the Boz Group. And it's led by this general, I think her name is Taikya. And then the second in command is Bikram Sihori, who later becomes the main commander. And so they get rid of the villagers and then we have our zombie series. So getting into the things that I did like about this series, it's just the overall story. Now these aren't your typical zombies. These are actually British red coats. And so that's a very different thing that I don't think I've really seen in any other zombie movie. And so these zombies are not your fast running zombies like you have in 28 days. But they're not your real slow moving zombies as well. And since they are like British soldiers, uh, red coats, the way they attack these humans are a little different so because they were soldiers and they're still soldiers they're just undead so I did like that approach and combined with the actual British red coat as well there's also the whole mystical side because of all the villagers that are there or that survive okay so I did like that approach and this whole zombie army um, they don't just disappear per se as you watch the series there's more to it than that and so that's the first thing that I like. It just takes a very different approach to this whole zombie genre. Then the second thing I like is the overall tension that this series has. It's only four parts, so it's not a very long series. However, the tension builds up with every single episode, and the characters can pretty much die at any time, you know, even the main characters. And so that's something that I like whenever you are watching these type of series. You never feel safe and I think those are probably one of my favorite zombie movies when you never feel like you could feel safe or you could just take a breather and that's something that really kept me watching each one of these episodes and then the final thing I would say I enjoyed about this series is the overall acting from the main actors and actresses um, I think the lead Sihori did a great job uh, his main commanders did a great job there's only one that I didn't like as much and I'll talk about that on the things that I didn't like but the overall acting in this particular series, I think it was solid. For fast website hosting and top-notch servers and features, check out SiteGround, the preferred service news at geekoutdoors.com. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. So getting into the things that I did not like about this series is one of the characters. It's actually this little girl and she is absolutely annoying uh, i just really did not like her in this whole series she didn't really help the plot much besides this one very important thing about her and i don't think it's due to her acting abilities i just really think it's just the way that the character was written more often than not she's just there to get all these soldiers in trouble and it's just very very annoying so every time they had scenes with her I didn't enjoy as much you know that might sound bad but the character just wasn't written very well for this and then another thing that could have been improved is uh, maybe more of character development and since this is only a four part series which are about 45 minutes each I could understand why they couldn't take a long time to develop the characters and I think maybe if there is a season two or season three we'll get a lot more on that and so if you just go in there you know expecting a really good zombie film with a lot of tension and a lot of action then you get that but if you're looking for more character development then you're probably not going to get that and then the final thing if you are somebody who really loves the horror elements of a zombie movie or zombie series you might not get that here this is more action oriented and even though the zombies they kind of look scary they don't really look that much different and the whole British red coat zombies, they kind of look like a mixture between aliens and zombies. And so there is definitely horror elements in there. But if you're looking for a lot of scary uh, scenes and moments, then you probably might not get that throughout the entire series. So that is my review on Batal. I think it is a good series. Um, it does try to do something different with this whole 
British zombie red coats, which is something I don't think I've ever seen in any other series. And I just love how they build the tension throughout the entire series. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other series that you've enjoyed, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you wanted to see more of my international film reviews, I do have a playlist. I'll leave that in the description as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.